The best way to see if a plugin is causing issues is to disable them one by one until the problem disappears. There are three ways you can do this using WordPress. Number one, through your dashboard using the plugins tab. Number two, via FTP by renaming your plugins folders. And finally, number three, directly from your database. Number one should always be your go-to, but if your website is inaccessible due to an error, you'll need to resort to methods two or three. In today's video, we're going to check out method number three. Before we start, friendly reminder, it's always smart to back everything up first. With that done, let's now access your WordPress database with phpMyAdmin. It's a little different for every host, but you should be able to find this by searching on your cPanel. Now simply select your website from the left side. WordPress stores your plugin information within the WP underscore options table. Click on it to see the contained rows. We're looking for active underscore plugins and that value shows up under the option name column. Now, if we look to the right of the name under option value, we'll actually see a string that contains all of your active plugins. Scroll on back and hit edit. Now, before we make any changes to this string, copy it and paste it to a notepad or something like that, just in case you mess everything up. But don't worry, it's really easy. All we're going to do is replace this string with this. If you want to copy and paste it, this snippet will be available in the blog post linked in the video description. This small snippet of code tells WordPress there are zero active plugins on your website. Now that we're done with that, we're going to scroll on down and click the go button. Now check on your website to see if the problem has been fixed. If so, you should be able to access your dashboard again and activate your plugins one by one. If your site breaks after you enable a singular plugin, you can be sure that that is the one causing your problems. And there you go. Now you know how to disable WordPress plugins through your database. If this video helped you, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.